And today we're taking a look at how to turn your barbecue charcoal on without lighter fluid. And in today's video, we're gonna see three steps. The first one that we're gonna see is paper and cooking oil. And you could use white printing paper. You can use paper bags. You can use basically any paper. But today we're gonna use the paper bag from the charcoal bag. Not the printed one, but the one in the inside, the brown paper bag looking one. So that's gonna mean that we're gonna be able to turn on the charcoal with simple things found around the house. And the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna twist the piece of paper to a tube looking form and then make like a donut. Then we're gonna put about two to three tablespoons of oil on the paper. And remember, you can use any type of cooking oil. The best one is the one you have. And now with either your match or your lighter, let's go ahead and turn this baby on. And to get your charcoal going, you only need from one to three briquettes on. In this video, we're only gonna do one because that's all that you need. If you wanna do three, just get a bigger piece of paper. And now that we got the fire going, let's go ahead and place the charcoal on top of the fire. And remember, if you experience any wind, you can use the barbecue cover as a wind guard. In around two minutes, you wanna flip the charcoal over to get coverage on both sides. And once you start seeing white spots on the coal, now you know that it is on. And once it's on, now you can place it on your charcoal bed. And the rest are gonna turn on with the heat of that single one. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the second method. And that one is using twigs. If you have dry twigs, you won't need the paper. In our case, ours were a little bit wet. So we took off the bark and split them in half. We're gonna place the paper as a donut shape. Once again, we're gonna place two tablespoons of oil on the paper and place the twigs right on top of the paper. And now that you feel your caveman or cave woman coming out, you can go ahead and place the charcoal on top of the twigs. And remember, we also wanna use the same method. After two minutes, we want to flip them over. And if you notice your twigs are too wet, you can also place some cooking oil directly on the twigs. And remember, if you have any wind, you can always use the barbecue cover as a wind guard. Let's go ahead and take a look at our third option. And usually pine cones are found everywhere, either at the park, any pine tree close by, or sometimes just laying in the ground. If the pine cone is dry, you could just go ahead and light the pine cone. If it's a little bit wet, then we're gonna use the paper in a donut shape, place a little bit of oil, and then place the pine cone on top of the paper. If you have a chimney starter, you can also use the pine cone method or the paper methods under the chimney starter, and it will work just as well. The good thing about the pine cone, it does burn for a while, and depending on the pine cone size, you can place up to three to four briquettes around it, and as well, as in top. If you wanna get more flat surface area, you can step on it to get it flatter. And now that we've seen the three options, if you want your charcoal to light up faster, you could blow wind to the charcoal in case there's no wind. We can go ahead now and place the on charcoal on the charcoal grill side and place the off charcoal on top of the on charcoal and give it 10 to 15 minutes and you're done. Now pat yourself in the back for a job well done. And now you could go to the fridge and get that ice cold bottle of water. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.